Okay, good day ladies and gentlemen. So this is now our fifth week of video run through for our English for Academic and Professional Purposes module. Okay, so module number five in week five focuses on thesis statement of the academic text. So previously we have already identified the different parts of the academic text. We have understood what an academic text is, the topic statement or the topic the sentence, and now we focus on the thesis statement. So we start off with the weekly starters. Okay, so we are using the PDF format for this video run through because there are too many essays that we have to look into starting week 5 until week 6. Uh, this would be too heavy for us to transfer pa on a PowerPoint presentation, so we will use the actual PDF of your modules for our presentation instead. Okay, so the targets for week number five, five are to identify the essay statement and its important features, to state the thesis statement of an academic text, and to construct a strong thesis statement. In the very beginning of your module, there is this try this activity where you have to identify whether the statement is true or false. Okay, this is not part of the recorded activities because the recorded activities in your answer sheet are only activity 3, activity 10, activity 11, and activity 12. But if you would like to take time, to exercise the content of this uh, activity, you may consider. Okay. Next, we have this first uh, formative activity, Solve Me. Read the essay on the next page and fill out the problem solution diagram that follows. So there is an essay over here. Now this is already page number five. It talks about obesity and poor, poor fitness, okay? Uh, then, it gives a solution to this particular problem. What you're going to do here is you're going to read this essay, uh, this essay and you're going to fill in this diagram down here with ideas taken from this essay. So, lahat po nang isusulat mo dito, manggagaling dito sa essay na ito. Ano yung problem na na-state doon sa essay? At ano yung mga naibigay niya ay solution? Uh, there are two boxes of solutions here. But again, as the instruction said, you may add more if you find more solutions given in this essay. So based on the essay, what major problem is presented? These are follow-up questions of the above activity. What solutions do you formulate to answer the problem? What are your considerations in order to arrive at the solution? Why do you think it is important to identify the main problem before providing a reasonable solution? How can this activity develop? your understanding in writing and identifying a thesis statement of an academic text. Now we proceed to your activity number two. In this activity, you are going to read again, okay? And write down the needed ideas in the tables that follow. So example, we have here a short topic. You have won the lottery and show to travel anywhere in the world. Write about a certain place you would like to visit and explain why you'd like to go there. Okay, so your support here would be your reasons for going and your main point would be the answer to the topic given above. Uh, if you notice, no, in this activity, some parts have already been given, particularly the supports have already been given. You only have to create your own main point. So here in this page number 8, we have the definition of a thesis statement. 
according to the module, a thesis statement refers to one or two sentences. It's not just one sentence, it could be two sentences in the introduction of a text that the writer uses to set the stage for the reader. The thesis statement provides the focus for the writing that follows and lets the reader know what the essay or text is about. It is what the writer uses to focus their ideas and express the main point of the writing. So the thesis statement is generally a, a, a statement no, or a group of sentences that highlights the main point of an essay. In academic writing, you are often expected to provide a thesis statement in the paper or in the presentation. In many writing contexts, especially instructive, academic, and professional contexts, a thesis or thesis statement is very important and helpful to guide a written message. Thus, a good quality thesis statement is crucial for good quality writing because intentional composition should equal clear and focused communication. Kumbaga, in the newsletter or in the newspaper, ang thesis statement is the news lead because dira na makita kung ano ang pinaka main point, ano mga pinaka importante, kung ano ang tuyo ang itabutyag sa isa ka essay. Then we proceed to the activity number three, which is the first recorded activity in your module number five. Here we have a box. No, actually, ang YS ni daw, ano man ni, daw concept web, no, in which nasa center yung idea ng thesis statement. Tapos may apat na bahagi sa paligid nito. We have a definition, the synonyms, the qualities, and a personal definition. So you may look for the definition of thesis statement as it is given here in our module, or you may also look for other definitions online. Now, ano yung mga synonyms ng thesis statement? Isulat natin dito. Ano yung mga qualities ng very good thesis statement? Isulat natin dito. At yung pinakababa na quarter dito sa lower right, isulat natin yung sarili na pagkakaunawa, our own understanding of what a thesis statement is. Please keep your answer short, simple, but direct. To the point. Then your module gives you do's and don'ts in writing thesis statements. So the thesis statement is not a title. Okay? Uh, yung title, yun yung parang uh, preview ng entire statement. However, yung thesis statement has to be more specific, more exact, more informative than the title. A thesis statement is not an announcement of the subject. Okay, so you do not say no, sa imong thesis statement kung ano ang laman, ano ang subject ng iyong uh, writing. Ang ginasulat mo dira no, is ang main point sa imong nga gusto ipahambal. It, it, it is not a fact. Okay, example today, fact is 50% of people get divorced. Ang thesis statement mo, yeah, our divorce rates are so high because people get married when they aren't ready for commitment. So it could be a personal statement. It could be an opinion, but of course based on facts. A thesis statement expresses a clear opinion about the limited topic. Okay? It discusses one major idea. It discusses the major idea. It contains topic sentences. A topic sentence, ladies and gentlemen, is the first sentence of a paragraph that signals to the reader what the paragraph's main idea will be. So, laman po ng inyong thesis statement ang topic sentence. Ibig sabihin, nandun mo makikita kung ano yung mga... Uh, main idea na gustong ilabas ng writer sa kanyang kabuoang kasulatan. Okay? If you notice, ladies and gentlemen, here are examples of thesis statements. 
given here on your module. And the topic sentences that are found in the thesis statement. Again, hindi lang po isang sentence ang thesis statement. Okay? Nakita nyo digani na ang isa ka thesis statement. Andrew Carnegie's contribution to U.S. manufacturing, personal financial success, and philanthropy open overshadowed the tense working conditions, poor wages, and strained labor relations between the steel magnate and the people whose hard work enabled him to spend lavishly. Itong kabuo ang idea or thought na to yung thesis statement. And from within this statement, we are able to generate four topics sentences. So, hindi lang siya isa ka sentence. It has to give a very brief idea, statement of what you want to say. Now, we proceed to your activity for trial and error. Write T if a test statement and write NT if there is no test statement in each number. Hindi ko na po ito nilagay sa inyong answer sheet, but you may take this as an exercise for your personal uh, consumption. So what are the characteristics of a strong thesis statement? Number one, it should be specific. It must concentrate on a specific area of a general topic. Okay? Dapat particular siya. Uh, dapat matumbok niya kaagad ang buot mo ihambal. Hindi na siya dapat paliko-liko. Dapat straight to the point, pag-specific ng imong thesis statement. Ikadawa, it has to be precise. Okay? In, uh, in order for it to follow for a coherent argument and to remain focused on the topic, if the specific topic is options for individuals without health care coverage, then your precise thesis statement must make an exact claim about it. So, dapat precise ang inyong thesis statement. It also has to be arguable or it must have the ability to be argued. A thesis statement must present a relevant and specific argument. May ginapanindugan. No? May buot ipa butyag. Then, it must have the ability to be demonstrated. You must be able to provide reasons and examples for your opinion. Hindi lang magbasta-basta. That's why mga nagagluwa sa buong sa Facebook ang mga fact-check champions ko no. Because hindi ka pwede kahatag ng isang thesis statement mo na nakita mo lang sa TikTok or sa YouTube ang information. You must be able to support it with reasons and no, facts for, uh, to support your opinion. So hindi pwede nga nga siya. Ang sabat mo lang basta. Okay? Next, forcefulness. A thesis statement that is forceful shows readers that you are in fact making an argument because you have to stand your ground. Pag-create mo sa thesis statement, amo na ay mo ginapanindugan. So it must appear as if ginapakigbato mo git ang iyong mga statement. But of course, sa lewat, no? dapat klaro ka kung ano ang ginapakigbato mo. Pag dapat may support ka, no? Ang mga nabalik lagi niya. Dapat may support ka sa ginapanindugan mo. Hindi kayo kung pamangkot mo ka, pati kaya mo lang na. Dapat may arap ka ng mga facts that will support your statement. Okay. So, ang laman po ng inyong module, yung medyo mahabang part dito, no, is... Because there are too many activities here that test almost every uh, lesson that can include, like this one. Each of the following test statements meets several of the following requirements. Now, so, ginatagaan ka muli examples ng test statements. We have seven test statements here. And all these seven statements have specificity, precision, the ability to be argued, the ability to be demonstrated, and forcefulness. So, ang mga examples sa mga effective pagmanami ng mga thesis statement. 
Hai, spesifik sya, precise sya, pwede sya ma-argue. No. Hindi lang may argue, kundi pwede pa sya ma-demonstrate kaya may mga facts na pwede makasupport sa iya kag may force o may panindugan sya. You can find as a statements in many places such as in the news, in the opinions of friends, co-workers, or teachers, and even in songs that you hear in the radio. However, uh, become aware of these basic statements in everyday life by paying attention to people's opinions and their reasons for those opinions. Pay attention to your own everyday basic statements as well, as these can become material for future essays. Now that you have read about the contents of a good basic statement and have seen examples, look at the pitfalls to avoid when composing your own thesis. So, kagina, no, nakita ka na kung anong manami niya thesis statement. Subong niya, ang ginahambal naman dali, mga pitfalls. No, anong mga dapat natin i-avoid in order for us to create a good thesis statement? A thesis statement is weak when it is simply a declaration of your subject or a description of what you will discuss in your essay. Kung simple lang siya nga daw topic sentence, inamba mo lang nga, amo lang na hindi yung ulugi ah. No, it is a very weak thesis statement. A thesis is weak when it makes an unreasonable or outrageous claim or insults the opposing side. Na, no? So, uh, a thesis statement no, should be reasonable, precise, no? Kag tapos dapat pwede siya mapanindugan because may arat siya yung mga uh, given sa so may mga facts na ginabasihan. Hindi kay mahatag ka lang siya sa claim na hindi ka man ganit makasupport sa na. Ang munang butang balansin yung ikadawa nga statement. Ikatatlo, a thesis statement is weak when it contains an obvious fact or something that no one can disagree with or provides a dead end. Kung wala na siyang dapat pabaisa, hindi ka na kinanglan pa mag-state because that is already an obvious fact. Okay? It's not arguable anymore because everybody already believes that that is that. So, ang thesis statement mo, dapat something na daw hindi pa fixed, hindi pa obvious na fact. Based siya sa fact, pero hindi siya mismo ang fact. Kaya kung fact na kina siya, hindi mo na kayo nang ibaes pa, ay amo na na siya nga daan. Okay? A thesis is weak when the statement is too broad. Dapat specific bag precise. Now, so activity number five, now, which is not part naman again of the recorded activities, you are going to identify now, whether these thesis statements are weak or strong. And you're going to sh give a short, uh, different, ano na, a short explanation of your answer. Why? Let's try to look at these examples and try to consider if they are indeed weak or strong. Number one, the court needs to implement stronger sentences. Is this weak or strong? Okay, this statement is very gen is general in one way, no, which makes it weak because may kakulangan siya sa specificity kung ano nga court kag kung ano nga mga sentences ang buot niya dari, ipabot niya. Number two, history is an important subject. This one is also weak nga ah, because broad siya katama. Wala siya sa arguable uh, characteristic kag wala man siya sa specificity. Number three, Charles Dickens uses the setting of his novels to emphasize the theme of class division. This topic sentence is strong. Why? Specific siya sa kung anong gusto niya ihambal. No? Kag hindi pa ni siya uh, fact, opinion ni siya ya, stand ni siya ya, sang writer or sang speaker. O tambalon, pwede pa ni siya ma-view. Pwede pa ni siya madipensahan. Pwede pa ni siya makontradict. But this is based on facts. So this is a very strong statement. If the government takes over the copper industry in Kenya, it will become more efficient through regulation and standardization. This is another strong example of thesis statement.
nga anangin strong. Okay? Because specific siya sa kung ano ang hinapanindugan. Tapos, uh, based na siya sa facts, kag-arguable man siya. Number five, because banana herb tea supplement promotes a rapid weight loss that results in the loss of muscles and lean body mass, it poses a potential danger to customers. This is another example of a strong thesis statement. Try to identify, try to reflect why I said that this is a strong thesis statement. Then this part of your module here is or talks about thesis statement of academic text. In academic writing, there are different types of text and each text has a thesis statement. The thesis statement in academic writing will depend on what kind of academic text it is. Consider the following factors involved when you are reading or writing a thesis statement. Number one, what kind of composition is it? Number two, what is your tone in this writing? Number three, what is your intent for this composition? Number four, what kind of audience or reader is involved? Number five, how long and involved is this composition? So, you have to consider these five questions before you start working on a thesis statement. Because your thesis statement must be able to represent these five questions in uh, its stand. Okay? Where is the thesis statement of academic texts? Sa isa ka essay, a short form of literary composition based on a single subject matter and often gives personal opinion of the author. The thesis statement in essays usually appears near the beginning of a paper. It can be the first sentence of an essay, but that often feels like a simplistic and exciting beginning. It more frequently appears at or near the end of the first paragraph or two. So sa isa ka essay, makita mo siya sa babaw or somewhere part some introduction. Pero not necessarily in the first sentence. Here is the first paragraph of Arthur Schellinger's essay, The Presses of American Masculinity. So, gintagaan naman kami examples ng essay. No? Tapos, ginap-highlight di rin sa may underlined part ang thesis statement. Kung manotis nyo, no, puno in isang isa ka mas malaba ng essay lawig, yun isubukun nyo di sa punta. Okay? So, hindi mo man mahambal nga last na siya. Maybe last part siya, isang introductory part pa lang ang essay. Then, another example of thesis statement in an essay, makita na ito, are, hindi siya part sa first din yung paragraph, na ara siya sa end sa second paragraph. Pero, I am sure na hindi pa niya end sa essay. Uh, in activity number six, you are told to cite no, or identify the thesis statement of the essays given here. That's the reason why medyo malawig ng aton nga module number five ay puno siya sa mga balasahon niya essays. Number two, kagina no, sa essay. Number two, hindi naman niya makita ang thesis statement sa reports or sa laboratory reports. Okay, so ang mga reports usually follow the IMRD or the IMRD format. The thesis statement therefore appears in the introduction of the report and explains the objective of the current study and discloses the hypothesis. So ang thesis statement usually sang isa ka report would fall at the end of the introduction no? where it leads already to the hypothesis because the hypothesis or what that report wanted to prove is the thesis statement. And then another example of trying to identify the thesis statement you know, from particular or a particular study or report. So naka running example na ton. Introduction, method, result, and discussion. Kaya kung manotis ninyo ang iyong thesis statement will fall here sa end part sang introduction.
then activity number 7. Minsan po lang naman kamo diri sang inyong uh, ulubrahon. Minda ka ta mo report, no? Pag i-identify mo ang thesis statement sang amo na nga abstract. Number number 3. Okay? For a study, research article, thesis or dissertation. Di mo makita ang thesis statement. Ang thesis statement appears in the introduction of the paper and also in the abstract of the page. So, may example naman din sa abstract sa isang thesis or research paper. Tapos, in underline nan kung di mo makita ang thesis statement. Alogbati, leave, extracts, provide, or prove that it could be used for dendrock treatment. Ay, in underline nan sa last part sa isang iyang abstract. Then, din praktisa naman ka mo. No? sa inyong uh, pag-identify kung ano ang thesis statement sining uh, uh, abstract. Okay. How about in textbook or literary analysis? The thesis statement in textbooks or literary analysis is the most significant element of, a, of the report. It tells the reader what to expect. Text, it is a declarative sentence that states the purpose of the text. Typically, the thesis statement falls at the end of the introductory paragraph of the text. So, we notice na kung sa naglain-lain ng type of academic text na in-discuss dere, kalabanan sa mga thesis statement falls at the introduction and mostly at the last part of the introduction. Arigin example lang naman ka mo ng sang isa ka thesis statement. Dere de Luz and Icaro shows in the quantities simplistic style of writing as recognized in his fact-based translation and conviction to straightforward storytelling. Okay? So, iyan niya niya sa writer opinion ang part niya ay yung naka-underline. But of course, it is based on facts. Kung paano yung nahambal ang ina, ha? State. So, here are other examples of test statements which would work for around a 500 to 750 word literary analysis essay. And then, sa activity 9, din pa identify naman sa inyo ano ang thesis statements ang ining literary critic no, nga makita ninyo dali sa salud sang box. Ang nagalaba man ang actually dali sa aton ng module number 5, kaya kada mo sang mga ginapa-identify na mga thesis statements halin sa mga excerpts pag paragraphs. That's why naglaba siya. No, but if you know how to identify the thesis statement, Regardless kung anong kalaba or kamugot ang gibalasahon, you will be able to identify it by uh, I just looking into ano ang purpose sining thesis statement. To sum up, a thesis statement is one to two sentences in the introduction of a text that the writer uses to set the stage for the reader. A thesis statement expresses a clear opinion about the limited topic, discusses one major idea, discusses the major idea, and contains topic sentences, which is usually the first sentence of a paragraph. This statement is not a title, an announcement of the subject, or a mere statement of facts. It must possess specificity, precision, ability to be argued, ability to be demonstrated, and forcefulness. There are different examples of academic text, and the thesis statement plays a big part on these different types of academic text texts. In the essay, makita natin ang thesis statement near the beginning of a paper. In the laboratory reports, no, ang thesis statement could be found in the introduction of the report and explains the objectives of the current study. Sa case study o sa thesis, ang inyong thesis statement appears in the introduction of the paper and also in the abstract of the page. Kag sa literary analysis naman niya, Ang thesis statement is the most significant element of a literary analysis. It tells the reader what to expect from the text. So, ari na. There is application part or assessment part. No, man yung mga activities na na-record sa inyong uh, answer sheet. Number 10, activity number 10 is to locate the text. Following the tips in locating a thesis statement, State that as a statement of the following passages of different academic texts. So I have here, I think, a pat. Yeah. Four 
academic texts from different examples. May ari na dari nga literary analysis, may ari na ding nga report, may ari na ding nga essay. No, all you have to do is to identify the correct thesis statement of each of these uh, articles. Activity 11. Following the guidelines of a strong thesis statement, choose the best revision for each thesis statement. Write only the letter of your answer in your EAP activity notebook or in your answer sheet. So, ari sa answer sheet, no, part A, tatlo mo na siya, one, two, three. You're going to write down here the letters only of your chosen, sorry, of your chosen thesis statement. So, for number one, ang sa box nga ni, amuni siya ang ginakwaan mo, ang sang idea, amuni ang article, amuni siya ang essay na gusto natin kuha sa thesis statement. So, ano ang thesis statement ang best no, para magtindog for this essay? Same as with number two and number three. So, pili lang kamo sa letters kung ano ang best nga choice as a topic or a thesis statement. Then, part B. Read the three paragraphs below and write a topic sentence for each. Kagi na sa babang may choices ka mo. Daria, no, what you're going to do is to identify the topic sentences of these three paragraphs na nagasukpon-sukpon mo lang actually. No? So, paragraph 1, anong topic sentence ini? Dari, na. Paragraph 2, ini ya, anong topic sentence ini? And paragraph 3. Okay? Kat, sa kabilugan, paragraph 1, 2, 3, ano ang ma-formulate natin na thesis statement? So, apat ka items ang sabtan natin dari sa part D. No? Three paragraphs, identify the topic sentence for each paragraph, and then sum up with one thesis statement. Then, we proceed to activity number 12. This is the last activity nga recorded sa inyong answer sheet. Accomplish the graphic organizer. Okay? We have three uh, columns here. Plus, minus, and interview. So, sa part, uh, sa P, gali, sa plus, you write down the parts of the lesson that you think are very helpful for you. Sa M, or sa minus na column, ano nga mga parts ng lesson ang tinanglan mo pa? Sa more understanding. No? Tinanglan mo pa sa more reinforcement. Pag sa I or inquiry nga column, ano nga parts ng lesson? Ang daw hindi clear. So, tinanglan mo pa. I-look out again. No? Tulukon again. Reviewon again para mas maintindihan. So, ang P, anong mga nag-gets mo na? Pag makabuligid sa inyo. Ang M, ano ang maintindihan mo man? Pero, daw may kulang pa. Pag ang I, Amuning daw hindi makid maintindihan. At tinanglan mo ano yung uh, uh, usisaon pagid sa mas madalong. Amuna ang isulat natin dari sa P, sa M, pag sa I columns, sa activity. Sure. Okay, then we have here assessment of what you have learned sa last part sa module nyo. Wala na niya tindala sa aton na uh, uh, answer sheet. Kaya tayo, ano man lang ni? objective and you can find some of the answers in the internet but you may actually use this as an exercise for your own consumption okay so our module ends here in page 33 medyo malaba-laba siya malawig-lawig siya pero ang bottom line man lang sang aton nga module number 5 is para makilala naton no kung ano ang ginatawag na thesis statement Pag diin siya makita, pag kung paano siya himo. Okay? So, test statement, isang isa ka-academic text, amo na siya ang panindugan, ang main point, isang isa ka-text, no? Pag hindi lang na siya isa ka-sentence, sometimes it comprises of different sentences, no? Sometimes it is even an implied part of a text. 
So once again, thank you very much. No, I hope nakabulig hindi pa yung tindi sa ito. Bisan sa makadali lang. Sang ining sentence, uh, sang ining topic, no, naton for week number five. Thank you very much for looking into this uh, video front.